Number 34, letter A. What is the force per meter on a lightning bolt at the equator that carries 2,000 amps perpendicular to the Earth's 3 times 10 to the minus 5th Tesla field? All right, so anytime you're talking about force, current, magnetic field, you got to be thinking about this equation. But the force on a current carrying wire, now it doesn't have to be a wire here because you're thinking like a lightning bolt. Well, that's not a wire, right? But it produces a current and you can think of it as if it were a wire, okay? But, you know, um, bear with me with this. So the for force um, on a wire that's carrying a current or the first force technically on any current, therefore, is going to be equal to the current itself multiplied by the length of the current, or AKA the length of the wire, if you were dealing with a wire, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, multiplied now by the sine of the angle between the current and the magnetic field. Now it told us in the problem that the current here, amps, is perpendicular to the magnetic field, Tesla. So what that means is that the sine of 90 is just one, so you can just cancel it. Now this simplifies on down to ILB. Now here's the thing, what did they ask for? They asked for force per meter. They didn't ask for force, they asked for force per meter. So based on what I just mentioned that these variables represent, which one of these has the meter value? Right, the length. So what you have to do is you do have to divide both sides by L, okay? When you do that, that side cancels, right? Or in other words, what you can do is just do this, right? In your mind, whoop, right? Bring it on down. We've seen that plenty of times. Now here's the formula. The force per length is equal to the current multiplied by the magnetic field. Look at how easy that is, right? So force per length is gonna be equal to the 2000 multiplied by the three times 10 to the minus fifth Tesla field. All the units are in the appropriate, um, uh, unit, right? And uh, 2,000, so excuse me, 20,000 times then 3 times 10 to the minus fifth, 0.6, right? So about 6.00, I guess, times 10 to the minus 1. And this would be newtons because that's force and length is meters. So newtons per meter. All right, that takes care of that. And uh, that's letter A. So let's take a look at letter B. What is the direction of the force if the current is straight up and Earth's field direction, magnetic field that is, is due north, parallel to the ground. All right, so uh, check out number 31 for you know just an idea of how to apply this rule. Let's just draw a little picture. So here you are, right, cool. Pretend you have a compass in your hand, okay? And the compass is gonna tell you this, that when you're holding it kind of flat, right, like you would, like if you're reading a compass, it's going to tell you that, and let's just assume this to be the case, that if you were to move forward, meaning into the computer right now, or m walk forward, which would be represented by an X, that would be due north, okay? Let's just make that assumption. And then what the compass would tell you is that pointing out of the page, or basically you'd have to turn yourself around, that would be south, all right? So that's like going into and out of the page, right? Or walking forward and backward. The compass would also tell you that to the left then would be west, Okay, and that east is now to the right. So this is just the compass, okay, east. Now, what does it ask? What does it tell us? It says, what is the direction of the force? So we gotta find force, that means we gotta find the direction of the palm. If the current is straight up, remember your thumb represents the current. So what's happening here in this picture, the current is literally pointing directly now upwards. Okay, here's the current, I. And the Earth's field direction, the magnetic field, is now due north. In other words, the field here in the problem is all X. It's all pointing into the page. Okay? So if you have a current pointing up, meaning your thumb now has to be pointing up. Remember, this represents your thumb. If your thumb is pointing upwards, and now your four fingers are now pointing into the computer screen. Okay? They're pointing into now, into the computer screen. It, this should look like you're shaking someone's hand right now. Then your palm should be facing to the left or AKA west. 
And that's the direction. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.